Hello everyone, welcome to One Arm Robert. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the jewelry heist stealthily solo. So when you first start out in One Arm Robbery, I suggest doing a couple missions loud to get some money and experience to unlock a silencer for your pistol and the first lockpick. Once you level up and get enough money to buy a simple lockpick and a silencer for your pistol, here's what you're going to do to do this stealthily. First, take your lockpick and put it in your bag and get yourself equipped. Take a meat right from the truck and go to the back alley here. Wait for this guard to turn around. Once he turns around, start rushing towards the door on the left. Take your lockpick, stick it in the door, and unlock it as quickly as you can. Once you have it unlocked, take your gun that has a silencer and take him out as best as you can. <laughs> Better than that. Then take his phone and do a check-in. Once you use one of these check-ins, it's done for good the rest of the game. No one else comes out here, so you can just leave the body right there. Otherwise, you can just drag it into the alley if you feel comfortable. Next, take your lockpick in your bag and hug the wall here so you don't get spotted by the camera and make it to this next door. Next, we're going to go upstairs and unlock the next door. Let's go on through here, going through this door. There's no one in this door, but the utility key card is here. But before we do that, let's take out some other things first. Next, we're going to unlock this next door, which will give us access to the security cameras and also give us access to the manager's office to get the vault key card. I should ask, before we open this door, though, we're going to set ourselves up to when we do our check-ins. I'm going to open this door in the meantime. Next, I'm going to open this door and with my pistol ready, shoot the guard. Rush real quick, get his phone, try not to grab him by mistake. Take your phone and do the next check-in right here. Next, take your lockpick and get into the security camera room. Before we go into this room and take care of the security guard, we're gonna open up the manager's office as well. Now that that's unlocked, take our pistol out. And now with that guard taken care of, you don't have to worry about cameras anymore in the jewelry heist. Once in here, tie up this guy so he don't go anywhere. We have our key guard from earlier for the utility room. Go over here with the card. Scan this card. And just like that, the alarm to the whole building is off. So if we really need to, we can shoot out this window to get faster access to our vehicle while it's back. As you see in the top left, it says find the vault key card, which is that office that we unlocked. Once through here, tie up the manager. And right there is a vault key card. I suggest leaving a bag up here for the office because there's some money in here. We'll put some of this money in before we go to the vault. Using our newly found vault key card, I scan the door. The door opens using our pick. Go right in here and unlock this. Easy peasy, no cameras having to worry about since we killed the security guard. Just like that, we're into the main vault. And what I recommend doing is having a money bag since it fits weirdly. If you have trouble, I suggest picking it up and putting it down. It moves the money around and anything in it. That way you can fit more stuff in. So this bag's done. They can put more in if we needed. And we can grab our next bag. And this is what I like to do. What I like to do first is get the gold to put it on the bottom. Followed by all the diamond rings that are in the bank. Once we have all the diamond rings in there, I go for the watches next. Now that's all the watches in the vault. But don't forget, there is a watch on this desk. Make sure you pick this up. Put it in the bag and finally we go after all the necklaces in the vault now we have everything out of the vault we can just go through that window that we just did and this is the necklace and what we got is fifty three thousand dollars right now next going back through we'll get our cash bag so this is counting the cash that was in the manager's office and the vault and just like that we can walk away with almost seventy thousand dollars in stealth mode now you could risk it now and try to get some of the stuff in the front but i say it's not worth it and just end it and just like that like i said in 11 minutes i got sixty-nine thousand dollars in stealth mode without ever alerting a single guard except that garden that was in the alley a little bit it was a little sketchy but and that's how you do the jewelry heist stealthily with silencers and lock picks i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow and leave a comment if you want to see more gameplay of one arm robber or any other games that you would like to see featured on the channel I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.